Yo, it's your boy AJ. I'm here with Rage. Luca and Kyrie just shocked the Wolves at home. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. You're now tuning into Hoops World. Hoops World. Right here, the king is like, hey, guess what? I'm still the king. I hit the streets just to get a bag. I pack, he got toe tagged. I punched the nigga for shorty. I'm John Woo with the 40. You not gang, nor the homie. I'm fine, don't bro. Me, no, you don't know me. Gang shit, numbers only. You wasn't there, I was lonely. You wasn't there, I was lonely. Dog nights, nice, blicky on me. I was just stacking my commas up. Head down, trying to run it up. These niggas be steady, be clapping. Yeah, this was a banger. This. Another one. Just another a follow up one. last night's game. Just this, to follow it up. Yeah. Banger. This Western Conference Finals, bro, was. Uh, this game one, it was magical. It was insane basketball. If you missed this tonight, you were going to be upset because this was insane to watch. Uh, where do we begin? I mean, the first half, Kyrie Irving, man. Kyrie Irving was incredible in his first half. What's crazy is he got out to a hot start. I think he had like 13, 14 in the first quarter, second quarter. He just was just put the pressure on the Wolves. I mean, he was being aggressive. Shout out to Jason Kidd, too, because Jason Kidd was running some plays for Kyrie, trying to get him. I remember Kyrie came off a screen, a brush screen for a nice midi. Like, Jason Kidd made it a point to, like, you know what, Kyrie, you haven't shown up these past, uh, in the OKC series in the first quarters, in the first halves. Let's get you going. You know, let's set, set the tone early. And Kyrie did, man. But what do you? what was your opinion of uh, Kyrie earlier this first half, bro? Because he was kind of going crazy. So I, I yeah. it's we we saw this in Brooklyn and we've seen this quite often. But like yeah. when what Kyrie needs to do to get going, if shots aren't falling, like just you know the pull up threes that he'll hit, yeah. he's just got to go to the rim. Kyrie is such a threat at the rim. He's so fast. He's so yeah. he he's so crafty at the rim too. We know what he can do with the you know with his layups, and we obviously know what you know with the type with the type of uh you know with the type of attention he carries, he's yeah. also able to kick it out to somebody wide open. And, you know, the Mavs build themselves around Luka and Kyrie. They got to have shooters around them to help complement nice. that. You know, they'll have they'll have Gafford in there. But besides that, Derrick Jones can hit, you know, can shoot a three. P.J. Washington can shoot a three. Although they were, you know, really not, you know, shooting uh, well from beyond deep. That was just another thing. But when Kyrie's attacking yeah. in the beginning – that's all he's got to do. Kyrie's just got to start attacking, attacking because he he really can't be stopped at the rim. Like obviously he's a really really good you know ball handler, yeah. but like yo his, his driving is, is insanely his layup package, underrated. Each each hand, left hand, right hand. Um, what's crazy about this first half? The Wolves were still right in it. The Wolves made nine more threes than the Mavs in the first half and were up by three. I wrote down Jaden um, McDaniel's. Jaden McDaniel's. We're gonna talk about Jaden real quick. Nineteen point four rebounds. Kyle Anderson, 11 points, two assists. Refs were kind of allowing physicality. Uh, the Wolves, real quick, switch to the Wolves side of things. It was an even side. McDaniels was Steph Curry tonight. I think he made six or seven threes tonight. Um, why? <laughs> Jaden McDaniels' ascension through this playoffs, bro, it's been really, really, really good. This first half, why was Jaden McDaniels and Kyle Anderson killing, bro? Like, I couldn't believe my eyes when I was watching this. I'm like, what's going on? So Dallas was actually sending doubles at end quite early yeah. and they were able to really, you know, they were able to get like Kyle Anderson, like was able to like sit in like the, in, in like the pain a little, a mm. little like, but like a little, a, a little, uh, you know, a little like below the key. behind a, a little behind the key. Mm. And he's just taking like little shots, little shots. Cause they're focusing and they're doubling that leaves them open. He can kind of break a He can kind of break like a double. And then, you know, with that double, they're also kind of in his zone because they have to be, because yeah. if you're playing straight up man and you're doubling, you know, obviously someone's going to be wide open. So you got to stick in that zone. Yeah. And Kyle Anderson was able to break that zone. Jade McDaniels was able to hit his threes, you know, with, with, you know, doubling and it leaves somebody open yeah. and you can break that zone. You just got to figure out how to break that zone. Hit somebody open for a three, and Nick Daniels was doing it, and Kyle Anderson was able to sit in the paint and get his two. Yeah. Um, now the negatives, I, I wrote this down. Dallas was winning the rebound. Well, negatives for the Wolves, even though they were up by three, and Jaden McDaniels was shooting out of his mind. Dallas was winning the rebound battle, nineteen to twenty-three at the half. Points in the paint, they were winning twenty-two to forty-four. Luca and Kyrie were getting buckets, thirty-eight points combined at the half. The Mavs were shooting. Oof. All right, so the Mavs are shooting 15% from three, two for 13 at the half, and they were only down by three. The Wolves were shooting 44% from three at the half, and they were up by three. So yeah, we talk, we, we talk on the phone, bro. We were like, how are the Mavs still in this game? But you got to be ecstatic because if you're a Mavs fan, like 
the Wolves shot out of their mind from three. They literally shot 44% they came from three. Out of his mind. Kyle Anderson came yeah. out of nowhere. You can't Anger. even be even be upset and it was like they were shooting so bad and mm-hmm. and the map it's not like the map shot any better they shot horribly so yeah. luca luca went three for ten from three they shot mm-hmm. six of 25 for uh from three as a team but besides that the only other person the only other people who had threes was pj washington and J, uh and josh green josh, josh green made green, up yeah. three and pj washington made two threes and he shot eight so only three people made a three on that team yeah and i remember when i was talking i was like damn because that gave me like the, the Mavs going into the second third quarter, I'm like, the, the Wolves can't really play any better because the Mavs just withstood their their shots. And then in the um third quarter, like I said, it was a back and forth runs, runs versus runs. But at the end of the third quarter, the Wolves were uh up by one, 83 to 82. Kyrie had 26, Luca had 18, Daniel Gafford had 10, PJ Washington had 10, and then Jaded Daniels had 21. Um, that third quarter was a better defensive quarter for the Wolves, um, because Ant was really not so good. I think he was like 0 for 5 in that third. But the Mavs were 3 for 19 from 3. They still were not shooting the best in that third quarter. But again, Awful still. only down by one. So they stayed in it. They stayed. They're just keeping up pace. Fourth quarter comes. It's a game of runs back and forth. Fourth, I wrote these notes down because this game was so crazy. The eight-minute mark, Mavs go on an 11-0 run. Luca just went insane by himself. 7-0 run by himself. He was getting to the rim. He had a lot of like um, he was getting the you know when Luca gets that single coverage uh with the pick and roll, he gets that step back because they were playing and we're we're gonna talk about this. They were playing a lot of drop coverage on Luca and Kyrie, and they just cooked them. And Luca was cooking the drop coverage. You're gonna see in these clips the drop coverage he was taking advantage of because they Luca is so good at making this read. When he comes off the pick and roll and they're dropping, he sees Rudy Gobert dropping, he's going to dribble up. He's going to see Rudy hedges back. He's going to dribble up, either hit that midi or he's going to hit a floater. If he sees Rudy hedge up, he's going to um, back up. He's going to hit that step back. You know what I'm saying? Or he's going to go back and read. See, and then if he go, if um, he sees somebody in the corner or he sees somebody in the, in the dunker spot, he's going to throw the alley. So it's like... It's like a triple weapon in a drop coverage. So it's like this drop coverage, the Wolves are going to have to adjust. But again... That 7 on one was crucial by Luka. Then the Wolves. The Wolves go on a 13-1 run at the four-minute mark, and it's like a tie game. We saw big shots from Cat. Cat hit a three, um, and he had a nice he um, alley-oop. He had the, uh, he had, yeah, he had a nice alley-oop to Rudy Gobert. So that 13-1 run at the four-minute mark. Then the Mavs, it was like a close game again. We're going down to the minute mark. The Mavs go on a 6-0 run. Luka again was just taking over, man. The Luca takeover. Talk about this Luca, this Luca takeover, bro. Because did you expect uh, after Cat made those big shots? Did you expect the Wolf to um, close it out, or were you like still on the edge? Dude, like even when Cat was going off, you got to think mm-hmm. it, it never got out of hand for yeah. Dallas. You know, it was never anything crazy. At least in the fourth, because it was always close. Like even when Cat was hitting a shots and Ant, you know, was hit, hitting a three. You know, they had a lot, a lob. It was so close. The thing was, is that in that drop coverage, they still weren't like they weren't. They need to the, they need to double Luca more. They, you think they they mm-hmm. they, they they messed up because the one guy that was really killing along with Kyrie Irving, of course. But mm-hmm. the thing is, is that the one person you had to focus on is Luka Doncic. Yeah. They should have stuck to the double team. Mm, they should have yeah. at least stuck to it and see what you can do. PJ Washington, yes, hit a timely three, but you'll live with that. He was shooting awfully. They hit yeah. six threes as a team this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, that's a good threes. point. Luca had half of them, and the other two guys combined for three, and they mm. didn't do well either of them. So yeah. it's like you might as well stick to guarding Luca because he was the one that ended up like he was the main ringleader and yeah. why they won this game. A hey, shout out to Derek Lively too. He's been playing his role really oh, well. He's yeah. been able to bug Rudy Gobert. He's been able to bug Cat. He's been able. He's been able to get blocks. You yeah. know, he's not. He's not something to play around with. And he somehow and he's able to set screens. So it's like in that drop coverage, it gets exposed because if you're not doubling Luca and you're setting a screen, he essentially gets open because Derek Lively no can set a screen. Yeah. Luka gets open and he's able to get a mini. He's able to pass the ball or just shoot a three. Yeah, that's those are great points you made, bro. And we're gonna get to the storylines of the Mavs, and then we'll talk about what the Wolves can do um, going into the next game. But the stories of the game tonight, Derek Lively. I got again. You said it yourself. He has he to me. He canceled out Rudy Gobert tonight. The, um, I didn't feel Rudy Gobert's presence on defense. I didn't feel his rebounding. 
Derek Lally took care of Rudy Gobert uh, at the same time getting the offensive rebounds. The other story, um, Kyrie in the first half, making Kyrie go set the tone in the first half was great. Because Luca, like you said, they were double teaming Luca early, shading him. It kind of slowed Luca down because off that pick and roll, they were like, it was a trap, immediate trap. And, and that, that first kinda, half, yeah. it was really Kyrie for real. Yeah. And that first half, it was really Kyrie. And honestly, like I, mm. I think, I think you'd rather have Kyrie beat you than mm. Luca. It's just different because yeah. that, that that that's we know that's Luca's team. Yeah, and and that's no shade. Kyrie. Kyrie played his ass off. He played well. And obviously, in the second half, that dropped a little bit, but Luca was doing his shit. Yeah. You know, that the second half was Luca's for yeah. sure. But like the thing is, is that like, it, I mean, you were winning when you were doubling Luca. You were yeah. winning. You were still yeah. winning. I think the Wolves have to decide, like you said, they're going to have to decide. They're going to have to fix this drop coverage. They're going to have to fix their defensive schemes and then maybe pick either one. Like tonight, both Luka and Kyrie are going off, but there's not. there'll be games in this series where one of them is not going to shoot well or one of them might be on fire, but they're going to have to pick their the, poison. They're, they're perf- I, I think for the perfect balance, they're going to have to play Nas Reed and Gobert together more. Yeah. For the perfect balance, because the thing is, is that like with Cat and Nas Reed, like you're able to get that offense for real. Mm. And obviously Nas Reed is solid defensively, but Cat is different. Like you know defensively like like by by that I mean like he's he's very mid, very yeah. iffy. Like it, he's not he's not Nas Reed on defense. Like it, and you know he's slower than Nas Reed. It's just it's just different. And you'd rather have you you can compliment uh, Rudy Gobert is, you know, interior presence. If they're going in the, you know, he's just there to bother Kyrie if he's going to the rim yeah. while you're still able to bug Luca. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, now let's get to the Wolves' point of view because like the Mavs, they just gotta like keep this going. They already did their job. They stole one game. Going to the Wolves, man. If you're a Wolves fan, are you nervous about Game Two, or are you just saying like, let's we gotta just make slight adjustments to win the next game? It's not that serious. They got the best of us in the closing moments. Luca got the best of us. What's your like opinion on if you're a Wolves fan right now, bro? So it's just really like how you want to play. You got to figure out how you want to play this Luca Kyrie thing. You got to mm-hmm. figure out how you want to play, how you want to do your coverages. Mm-hmm. If you want Luca and Kyrie to beat you, or you want you know the role players to beat you. You know what I'm saying? Like even yeah. if or or if it's just Kyrie, you know, because the thing the thing is is that the Mavs should not the Mavs should not have won this game with the way yeah. they shot from three. But yeah. everything else was yeah. fantastic. Lucas the defense, the defense was incredible tonight too. The, the Lucas defense was insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, and, and the the Mavs have gotten so much better as a team defense. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah, like they, they, it it, I mean, <laughs> it they is. really want to. They, they went crazy this deadline. I mean, you were able in this off season just in general because you were able to draft lively. But not only that, you were able to get PJ Washington. Yeah, and you were able to get Daniel Gafford on top of being able to move up off of Grant Williams' contract. The yeah. Ma- the Mavs are doing well, but if you're the Timberwolves right now, I think you really just got to figure out how you want to play defense. I don't think you should sweat it that much. To yeah. be honest, I had this game going six, seven games. Yeah. And, I think and, gonna, this look, this looks like a seven any, game series. Any game bro. can go any games yeah. can go anyway. At the end of the you know what we saw last series and mm. that Nuggets Timberwolves series? We saw we saw the Timberwolves take two away. And then we mm. saw the Nuggets take two away. Take you two never away. know. Mm. The game went seven. It went yeah. seven. The Nuggets were up three two and then they lost two. They followed up with two losses. So it's like, you know, you never know. I, I don't think the Timberwolves should sweat it that much. But the Mavs are playing really fucking well. Yeah. Shout out to the Mavs. Shout out to the – this is going to be a great series. Make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at HoopsWorldZero. We're also on Twitter at HoopsWorldZero. Really, really great series. Again, hit that like button. We'll be back for the Eastern Conference Finals Game 2. Appreciate you guys so much. We're back.